New Red Dead Online update. Infamous Grizzly Bear Baiter Yukon Nikolai Borodin, plus new clothing items, featured free aim series, bonuses, and more. So the legendary bounty this week, the final legendary bounty, the 10 legendary bounty finale here from the Frontier Pursuits Red Dead Online DLC update is Yukon Nick is a Russian-born trapper and hunter with several outstanding warrants from his time spent in the territory of Alaska, and he is currently being sought out for the known murders of several men, as well as the disappearance of a U.S. Marshal sent to bring him into justice. A few words of warning, however. Rumor has it that Barodin keeps wild grizzlies captive and, much like his bears, is highly territorial, dangerous, and short of temper. Yukon Nick and his entourage were last seen in the area south of Strawberry near Fort Riggs, and in addition to a handsome monetary reward, players who turn in this week's final legendary bounty will also receive 3 special snake oil and 10 big game meat within 24 hours of completion. So, drop a like if you guys do go on to enjoy today's update video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at HazardousHDTV to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and information. I also want to mention I am live every single day on Twitch.tv, so if you are in the market for daily Red Dead Online live streams, you can be sure to always have a channel that's excited to have a conversation and play Red Dead Online with you. So also new this week in Red Dead Online, we have a new weekly collection, clothing, and more. Wheeler, Rawson & Company has plenty of new permanent clothing hitting the catalog this week, including the new Chumley flat cap, Salcedo shirt, Crutchfield suspenders, a dapper pair of dress shoes, and the Cardenas poncho. Ladies looking to expand their wardrobe can purchase the Ballard jacket, Aguirre boots, and Goodale shirtwaist, while gentlemen can pick up the dapper Fulbright coat. You can complete the look with the new tints of the bandana and trimmed bandana that are also on offer this week. And collectors looking for opportunities to pad their wallets can complete the Bowman's collection by returning the Flint Arrowhead, Raw Arrowhead, and a Gate Arrowhead to Madame Nazar or mail it via your nearest post office and earn themselves a pretty penny in the process. And sure shot players looking for a fresh challenge need to look no further, because this week's featured free aim series pits two squads against each other in a heated team shootout. So that is also amazing. We have Team Deathmatch returning to Red Dead Online, which is pretty sweet. Unless I'm misinterpreting this and it is just the shootout mode that you can load in through the quick join menu, we used to have team shootout in the game way back when the game was in beta, and then Rockstar removed it, and hopefully they added it back, even though it is a free aim series. If they added in just that normal team deathmatch again, that is going to make a lot of players, not just PvP players, including myself, very, very happy. But also this week, we have new bonuses and benefits. Traders would be wise to take advantage of new limited time offerings, including a 50% bonus on goods delivery using small or medium wagons, plus discounts that take 25% off trading in hunter wagons, and a 50% discount on trader resupply orders. And all players can decorate their campsites with 40% off everything sold by Wilderness Outfitters. PlayStation Plus members who play Red Dead Online before November 25th will receive the Page of Pentacles, Knights of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles tarot cards absolutely free of charge. And Red Dead Online players who connect their social club account with Twitch Prime can still claim the Bounty Hunter license for free and also take advantage of additional 10% off the discounts that were listed here in this newswire. So that is everything in the newswire, but just to give you guys some nice little tips and tricks before you head into the bounty, you can apparently take the bounty in alive. My friend and I just shot the bounty square in the face our first time, and the second time around we tried shooting him in the legs, but nothing happened for the first few shots, and then what happened was the bounty ended up killing the marshal and the hostage before we could take him down, I guess. So what you could try is shooting the gun out of the bounty's hands, which may potentially keep him alive as long as you hog tie him fast enough. You can also save the marshal. But remember, just to wait a little bit on the bounty and take as long as you would like to complete the bounty for the maximum payout. Just like the story missions in Red Dead Redemption Online, you don't really get paid after waiting and playing on the mission for more than about a half hour. And it goes in line with the rest of the content. The longer you take, the more money you would make. But with all that said and out of the way, that is everything here that is up on deck for this final legendary bounty update. So just as a recap today in Red Dead Online, the final legendary bounty Yukon Nick was introduced into the game, and he will be available until next Tuesday morning. And the new clothing items consist of the Chumley flat cap, Cardenas poncho, Fulbright coat, Salcedo shirt, dress shoes, Crutchfield suspenders. I've really enjoyed all the Frontier Pursuits DLC updates so far, and hopefully it won't only just be recycled content from now until the release of the next major DLC. 
I'm really hoping Rockstar may still have a trick or two up their sleeve to tide us over because we're still several months away from the next big update I'd imagine. In my opinion, it's a far cry to expect something before 2020. My guess for the month is January or February, but even then we still have no official word on any release window for the next update. Just those interviews with gaming news outlets published a little bit over a month ago which gave us some hints and sneak peeks at possible new roles and role expansions like the Outlaw and the Photographer, but of course there is much more to be revealed to us in the future. I think all of us are looking forward to more information being shared on future updates, especially next week's, and I will definitely keep you guys up to date, but nonetheless I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of these 10 legendary bounties? Which one was your favorite? Will we get more new bounties in the future? Could we see new legendary trader missions in future updates? Will consoles or PC see a second outlaw pass? I was really hoping for some of those questions to be answered today for us, but we just may need to wait a little bit longer to find out more on those topics. But whatever thoughts you may have on this update and this video, please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And with that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. I got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, leaks, and all of that good stuff. And also GTA Online and The Last of Us Part 2 content. Can't forget about those. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram to also get connected with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of those links can be found in the description down below as well. Thank you guys all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.